Uh, and that's just the added perk of it. But really, at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? We're trying to go to from one million to two million, and social media is the nicest. Okay, now I need that. you to help me mm -hmm. as far as my appearance. Yeah, not, we, we not, handle I'm all not, that. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I'm not above reproof to say, hey man, you know, you really need to get a better cap or. You know, you need to shave or whatever, or yeah. have whatever to make it. Because I, I want, I want it to be. You can be. It's a different thing when you're coming across that screen, mm -hmm. and you got to have that. That you got to have that. It's something that 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 I know when I see it. That I'm gonna click real fast. But it's something that I do also know that if the person got you right. It, they're kind of saying the right thing from the beginning. I can stay to them 30 seconds because I'm, you know, I call TikTok my university. That's why exactly. I, I go to school to TikTok. <laughs> like, it's like with a lawyer. You want to see a lawyer in a suit, right? Yeah. With an electrician, you want to see them kind of like how you dress now. You, you're on the job. You're getting stuff done. You got your logo printed right there. You're wearing glasses. That makes you seem smarter. Mm -hmm. it, it's true. It works. That's why actors yeah. wear glasses when they want to seem smarter. You're, you're pretty much dressed well. You know, there's there's some things we can uh, tweak from video to video, so it, it doesn't look like the same one every time. But as far as um, appearance goes, what's more important is how you say it than necessarily what you say. So, like when you're looking at the camera, you want to imagine, you know, who who are you speaking to, right? Who, they're watching their phone. You want to imagine them. Like you're just talking to a loved one, like you're talking to a friend, like you're talking to a protege. That that's really the, the methodology, the thinking that goes into it, and that's how you really skyrocket quickly. Because they, they develop a sense of trust, right? Like this whole new generation is only on their smartphones, and COVID just pushed that even further. So they build all of their trust, all of their social connections from their phone. And if you can be the authority figure for electricity, electricians, and showing you know what kind of job you could create, you could potentially own your business one day, you know, just by scaling up, and if you need electricity work, we got you. You see how, how that kind of flows through the social media? Just naturally... Where did you learn this stuff at, man? <laughs> just working hard, man. <laughs> you work I, for another company or something? I started off doing it myself, um, and then I was interested in getting into real estate, so that's why I started working with Kurt. Uh, just, it, it was kismet. It was like, he, was, he wanted to get back into social media, and I was like, well, I have videographers and editors, we can help you out. So then. Now we're about to start working with car dealerships too. Same, it's, uh, we just uh, want to choose different fields so we don't saturate the market. So we'll also do a local bank as well. And then really my, my expertise is kind of like the visionary director of like, how do we make this channel work with their goals? So for your goals, obviously it's increase employees to then increase your uh, residential load. So you can do more houses. And then that, in turn, will also help to grow your following to where you can have another revenue source. So going from one to two million. Um, you know, for Kurt, his goal is I want to get more students and I want more uh, turnkey properties. So that, that's the kind of videos we craft for him of like teaching educational wise about how to real estate this. It's, 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 you know, similar strategies, but different niches, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I noticed though, this said that what I have noticed though, like on TikTok, I, I was just researching the other night and a lot of these guys around here in Memphis, they have no comments. The problem with TikTok, this is why we focus on YouTube. Like what we do for Kurt is we do YouTube for him and then he reposts to TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. The problem with TikTok is 80% of them are bots. So when you get views on TikTok, 80% of them are usually fake views. Um, the benefit of YouTube is 80% of them are usually real people. So it's the reverse. Um, the, the reason they do that is uh, the Chinese company that created it, the algorithm, they found that people are more willing to post more content if it looks like they have more views, right? So they might throw them a few fake views to make them feel good so they'll keep posting more and more. Because it, the way they truly make money is they have a ton of content creators making good top content for their viewers to keep scrolling and watching them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Also, it's a uh, feature where if you pop up on TikTok, uh, it literally give you a view when you swipe. You ever accidental uh, watch a video, uh, you just keep swiping down. It's a random video, keep popping up. Yeah, it, All the way that the algorithm works, uh, YouTube Shorts is kind of like it. Let me show you how it. So for what we've been doing for our channel personally, we're up to about two hundred thousand views a month. That's all organic. We're not paying for any of that. 
Um, and primarily, they come through shorts of us talking about certain things, like, here, let me go to most feed. So, you know, it's talking about motivational quotes, talking about celebrities, you know, that's just our niche for this channel. Um, and we do a similar thing with Kurt, and the goal would be, let's average our top shorts in the several K range. You know, one to five K starting off, because it's a brand new channel for you, right? So that, that would be our initial goal. Let's see what content works, and we'll figure that out by one to 5,000 people watching the video. And if they like that video, okay, why did that video work over all the other ones? That's why you have to make so many videos, because like, you need, like, are you familiar with data sets where, so let's say you make 100 videos, and this is the view count, and it's all over the place, right? And then what you want to do is you're like, okay, so these top performer vi uh, videos got all the views. Why did they do that? Are they better than the other videos? Are they uh, having different time limits? What is the content? What is the category? What is the title? What is the thumbnail? And that's what we figure out, and then that's what we double down on for the next month. That's why you know it's it's a long process, six to twelve months to to where it's a separate income source, but. It, that dedication is why it gets us there. And you start getting views right away. Like Kurt, we're on month two with him. He's already at 40,000 views a month organically. And it, uh, that it will only grow from there. You know, when the you start, more How many views you have to have before you start getting paid? Huh? How many views you have to have before you start getting paid? So for YouTube specifically, you need 1,000 subscribers, which are people clicking on the subscribe button. And you need what's called 4,000 watch hours. So this will primarily come from your long form videos. So if someone watches a 10 minute video, that counts as 10 minutes, 10 watch out, uh, 10 watch minutes. And to turn on monetization for YouTube, you need 4,000 of those. And then once you do that, your niche, you'll probably make anywhere from five to $10, uh, five to $10 per 1,000 views. So let's say you get a long form with 100,000 views, you know, that will equate to probably a grant just from AdSense. That's not including sponsorships, all the increased sales you'll get from your business, all the increased you know, employees who want to work with you. So that, that's just on, that's like a cherry on top. That's a nice little five, six figures that can be built up over the course of six to 12 months. Um, the, so I wouldn't even focus too primarily on that. The main focus should be how do we monetize it immediately? which would be increasing our employee load, getting more electricians in the door, and then increasing our client load, having more houses we can service, because now we have the increased employee load. And then in six to 12 months, you're like, oh wow, I have an extra five, six figures coming in just from the social media I've created. Yeah, I mean. It's like a happy bonus. <laughs> I, I can receive that because, yeah. you know, like I said, I understand, you know, the process, and so pretty much, well, as much as my mind would let me, but I know that anything like this here, you got to have, you got to be able to play the long thing, because that's not really the, the focus, because if not, then you're gonna, I, I feel that you're gonna be looking for something that you, that's not gonna, because it, it, it was that easy, everybody would be doing. Exactly, yeah. it's a long term, like uh, in the early days of this, people would spend five years making videos before they made a cent. Now it's, it's a shorter time frame, seven to six to 12 months, or maybe two years if you're, you know, completely fresh, don't know what you're doing. But the, the people who make the most amount of money, like the people with millions of subscribers, they make seven figures a month just from AdSense. So they can make a million dollars a month from AdSense, then another three to five from their brand deals, their sponsorships. And these are people who aren't like you. They're not good at business. So they're just doing that as their primary income. If they turn that into a business too, that's where they then create a hundred million dollar business like those Kylie Jenner of the world, Alex Ramosi, people like that, uh, if you're familiar with them where basically they take their audience and then they find new ways to monetize it. So for you, obviously it would be targeting towards the business. For them, they don't normally have a business, so they have to partner with another business. And that's where the sponsorships come to. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense, yeah. man. So let's, let's, uh, how much money are we talking to get this ball rolling? What, what yeah. I need to budget to do this here to make it to, um, you know, he has some realistic goals and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it completely depends on your budget. Obviously, it's a long-term process, so you have to be able to handle that month over month. Our premier like top package to grow the fastest is 15K, and then we can scale anywhere down from there, like depending. And it just, the only difference from those is, you know, the top package, we manage all your platforms, grow them all simultaneously. The lower package, we just start off with YouTube, and uh, depending on how much you can cover, 
it's really for the videographer editor fees of making the content every day. So really, it's we, we're willing to work with you. Obviously, your referral from Kurt, so we're happy to grow with you. It's a long-term strategy. We can always scale up later on. It's fruit.